Well, hello everyone. What uh, what you see here is an old five foot landscape rake that uh, I bought for an old small Kubota that I used to have. I think back then they actually called it a heavy duty rake. Now they don't. Now they have one that's beefed up more. Anyways, what I want to do now instead of getting rid of this and buying an eight foot or whatever, you know, the biggest ones I can find, I want to make a 10 foot rake out of this. The main reason I had it was to clean up debris out in the pasture and stuff like that. And we have a creek that comes through and when it floods and the water comes out of the creek, it just floats up all this debris everywhere. We get stumps and old logs and everything laying around. And uh, then you start going out there cutting and you start tearing up your brush hog or even worse, you know, your hay rakes and, and your hay cutters and stuff if it gets up that high into the hay field. So what I'm going to do is this turn this five footer into a 10 footer and I'm all I'm going to really do is just set those tines twice as far apart uh, so that way I have enough tines and I don't have to buy any more. But uh, but yeah, so I'm going to get started. What I did is I went to the metal shop and I found me some uh, some angle like this angle iron and I'm going to take all of these off and uh, I'm going to weld up that 10 foot piece of angle iron onto this. It should just go right on the outside of this one. And um, then I'm going to come back and redrill the holes where I want them to be and bolt them on. So it should be a pretty straightforward project, but uh, <laughs> you never know how it's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking this thing apart and uh, show you the metal that I got and uh, seeing what it's going to do. Alrighty, so you can see those two bars I've taken off and it's freed up the tines on this thing. You can see the broken ones there. Bolts, nuts and bolts and lock washers they had on them. So I'm going to try to reuse those. Hopefully they'll be long enough to, to get through the double stacked metal, but I'll figure it out. So now I'm going to take off these top ones basically the same thing they're just they're just uh, screwed in here and then you can see they're just right through the tines so now I'm gonna take all those off all right so here's all the good tines that were taken off and uh, I have five broken ones there's these four here and then one over there that I used to measure the hole but basically they're just you know metal plate bent and has a hole that a focus cut in and then that was in these holes here right so it went up underneath like this and went in through that hole basically I am going to weld another piece of angle here this is a 10 foot piece of angle I'm gonna put a couple bolts through it to make sure it's nice and straight and the way I want it. And then I'm gonna weld it up. And then I'm gonna drill the holes in the, uh, the angle where I want them so that they will hold these tines like this. And I think that's gonna work. I ran a couple pretty good and great screws or bolts and nuts through this because I don't wanna weld this angle iron on yet. I want to make sure that everything is lined up the way I want and everything's working the way I want. And when it, when I find that and I realize that everything's good, then I'm going to weld these two pieces of angle iron together to give it more structural strength. But for now, in the light testing that I'll do, these, uh, these drills should work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure, actually, I already know it's 10 feet, but I'm going to measure and put a straight edge across this so I can mark where I want to put my drill holes for the uh, for the tines that go on here and then I'm going to start drilling all those holes. I said there's quite a few tines that need to go on. I'm going to double space them. The ones that are broken like this uh, I'm going to probably just weld some rebar to the end of those tines and if I find this is too wide of a, of a spacing I'll either buy me another set of tines and bolt them in or I'll just weld me up some rebar in between them or something. All right, as you can see, I've come through here and I measured out my holes. I 
drilled the first two steps. I always start with a small bit, move up to a medium bit before I hit with a large bit. These are the spots that I marked. I haven't made it all the way across. All right, and there it is. My five foot rake is now a 10 foot rake. It's got a four inch spacing. Apparently before it had a two inch spacing, so now it's got a four inch spacing. More than enough though tines to go in there and pull up all of those uh, branches and miscellaneous things that float up. Like I said, if I need them closer, I'll put some rebar in there, but um, I don't think I'm gonna have any problem. There is gonna be some rebar welded on these. So I've got some rebar I need to cut, and I'm just gonna weld them on the inside of those tines to make them the same length as the others. And I think that'd be fine. And then I'm gonna weld one strip of rebar from the edge of, probably from the middle of this bend or somewhere maybe at the high part of the bend here and I'm gonna go straight across one strip of rebar all the way and weld them to the tines that way to keep them all nice and straight and also reinforce some of the strength of the uh, the rake but mostly to just keep them nice and straight because it's just one bolt up top holding them in I could drill another hole but then that would just make things weaker I will uh, get this thing finished up and painted and then Get you guys a video of me raking up all of that garbage that floats up there's a ton of it out there so anyways hope you all like what i made get some close-up shots like i said i drilled some holes same nuts and bolts that were in it when it was a five footer same holes in the tines and everything all right well thanks everyone for watching please like and subscribe it's free to subscribe to the channel Basically, the subscribing will just show you when I got new videos posted. It'll just show new videos in your feed. But uh, it really helps me out. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And uh, leave some comments below. Let me know if you got any suggestions on how to make this a little better. Um, you know, I, one, thing I've, <laughs> one thing I wanted to know was if you guys have a lot of experience with drilling mini holes. I do have a drill press. This was a little awkward on our drill press, so I didn't do it that way. But uh, what's the secret, man? What is the secret 100 or 200, you know, half inch holes through uh, some heavy steel? You know, I'd like to, to find out what the deal is. Am, am I just eating up bits and is it just my technique or lack thereof, you know? Uh, or is that just normal that you just eat up a bunch of bits going through some metal like this? Anyways, please let me know. Put it down in the comments that it helped me out. And uh, you guys take care.